Hey guys, Clyde here live at Leechburg Lights. Hey, I wanted to do a uh, very short video on how to make a LOR crossover cable. If we wanted to run our Lightarama controllers in a DMX mode, we need a crossover cable. The problem with a regular network cable using it in the LOR network and trying to get DMX to it is that this cable with a straight through cable where both ends are the same will not bring the data from Lightarama or convert it into data that Lightarama can read. Because the pins on the CTB 16PC controllers, the original Planet Christmas controllers that I've been using for years, they run off of a different wire color scheme. Starting on the left, we have DMX cable, which, uh, like I said, uses the standard wiring order. And that standard wiring order is uh, striped orange, solid orange, striped green, solid blue, striped blue, solid green, striped brown, solid brown. So we have DMX on the right. We're going to go through what we have here on the left. This is the LOR protocol. We take pin number four, which is blue, or, or uh, pin number five, which is blue, and move it to location number one here. So we swap out the orange stripe for the blue. And that's what we've done right there. The orange stripe is here where the blue used to be. Then we're gonna take the next one, which is the blue stripe, which is on over here beside the solid green. It's between the green and the solid blue. We move that to position number two, and then that's where we take our solid orange. Our solid orange now moves over to that spot. And all we're doing is swapping out those two main colors. Now the last one we sw swap out are the, is the last one. We see solid brown, we see a striped brown on the right-hand side. Here on the LOR uh, crossover, we see the brown and the solid green. So basically, you're just switching the solid green and the, and the striped brown two wires there. So those are the three basic uh, changes that you have to make in order to create your crossover cable, in order to make your Lightarama controllers work in your uh, DMX environment. So with this cable, I'm able to successfully uh, cre uh, create a positive connection with my DMX output from my uh, DIY LED Express bridge. I can run DMX from an NTech Pro dongle. So I want to do something real quick and show you how you can get a hold of a uh, wire crimper. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Amazon and we're going to search for an RJ45 crimp tool. I want you guys to see, uh, now I have Amazon Prime so I pretty much, you know, you can get you can get these tools for, you know, a very good price. This is a, I would... Uh, I have I don't own this one, but this is probably the best deal value if you were going into getting uh, something like this. If you're looking for an RJ45 uh, kit, this has a tester, and these testers are really nice. This has a little cutter that cuts the uh, coating of the wire. Then you have your your crimp tool, and you also have uh, some uh, male connectors for the Cat 5e connectors. Um, you can also go on to eBay and if you go on eBay you'll find a significant number of sellers who sell RJ45 uh, cable if you just type that in there I guarantee you're gonna find uh, here's a better here's a better example 1000 feet you can get and this is expensive you can get a thousand feet of cat 5e uh, e ethernet cable wire for less than 40 less than 35 dollars and free shipping and it's this is stateside so you're looking at and you know positive feedback and so forth you know buyer beware and all that 
but uh, this is probably, I believe, I purchased from this gentleman here. This is the black wire that I used to create one of my crossover cables. So, um, just so you know, that th this is something that anybody can do. So, for you know, thirty-five dollars plus another fifteen, that's forty-five, uh, forty, and fifty for un for around fifty bucks, you can get in and uh, pick up yourself your own networking gear. Now, also, the other thing I want to show you is opening up and uh, let's go to YouTube and there are a ton of videos on RJ45 crimp tutorials there's a there's tons of them there's no reason for me to make one you're more than welcome to check out any of these videos uh, but I, I wanted to bring this up to you guys so that you could go out and do this on your own uh, it's really really simple to go ahead and and create your own cables I'm gonna throw a, a, a copy of the diagram I, I, I made one in Excel um, right here it is I made this in Excel and I'll, I'll, I'll throw this up on the screen and I think it's really important that you have a visual so that when you're sliding these into where you're going uh, into the mail connectors that all you need to do is just put them in the correct order I mean it's very simple the the other thing here too is is let's say that you do not want to crimp your own uh, uh, your own RJ45 connectors on well that's okay once again you can go over here to Amazon and you can type RJ45 and it will come up with a million different wires that you can purchase here's an RJ45 cable you get a you actually purchase this cable no big deal whatever you know it's whatever length you need it to be and you buy this cable and you cut it in half and then what you can do is you can go back and you can use this little pinout diagram you can swap out the colors on on one side and then swap out the colors with the other by just soldering them together you can join pin number one the orange stripe with pin number four on um, uh, on on the DMX which is you can combine the orange stripe with the blue and then on pin number two you can combine the orange stripe with pin number five which is the blue stripe and then you can connect pin number six right here the green with pin number seven on the LOR side so you can use this this bit of information here and you do not have to cut pin number three and pin number eight which is pin number three is the green stripe and pin number eight is the brown so those two stay the same these other six do get cut and you just cross wire them together it's very simple to do this on your own guys i hope this helps once again if you have any questions or you have any comments feel free to email me at leechberglights at gmail.com you can check out the website and get in touch with me there at www.leechberglights.com and also on facebook at facebook.com forward slash leechberglights all right guys take care thanks a lot for watching appreciate it